All right, so I think there's a couple of things we can go over about uh, charging for estimates, and uh, it's definitely, uh, you know, in the groups on Facebook and stuff, there's a lot of guys that have some serious um, issues with it, but like the thumbnail says, I mean, I, that's what we do. I'm going to tell you my best practices and things to expect if you charge for estimates. So let's get into it. All right, guys, so I just collected an estimate uh, fee for a customer, $1,000 for the estimate itself. And um, you've probably seen in the thumbnail or whatever, however, I'll throw a picture of it in here. There's a couple things. All right, we're gonna get into it. <clears throat> estimate versus a quote. So I know a couple people, like I actually posted in a group and everybody's like, well, what about a quote, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so I think a quote is more along the lines of an accurate, you know, what it takes to get the job done. And an estimate is like a ballpark. Like a, that's how they are described it to me. In my area, I use the terminology that my customers use. So if somebody reaches out to me, hey, can I get an estimate? Yes, here's your estimate, ballpark. And then I'll go into the, obviously the, you know, I'm at, if you want me on site, you're gonna have to pay for an on site fee. But I don't use a quote versus estimate. I just use the terminology that the customers are reaching out to me use, and they never use say quote. I think maybe once, if I, if I can remember correctly. Like I just had somebody reach out yesterday, like, hey, can I get an estimate? Not, it, it was not get a quote, it's an estimate. So that's the terminology I use, that's what I use for this. If you guys use quote or estimate, just let me know that's where I stand. So I don't use quote, it's always estimate. Uh, ballpark estimate for free, not on site, and then a detailed estimate for paid. You gotta pay for my time. So uh, as far as paying for estimates and everything, it's it's a kind of a hard pill to swallow for a lot of contractors actually, but, but for some, obviously, some customers i lose work absolutely have i lost work probably have i lost out on jobs actually doing the work because someone didn't want to pay me for an estimate absolutely i'm sure i'm sure that's happened but you've got to know you've got to value your time i don't need the work so if somebody come reaches out to me and say hey i need i need you to come over here for a quick little bathroom you know, blah 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 no like do you do you have plans do you know do you have a set budget or you have a time frame in mind I had somebody reach out to me. They wanted to do a kitchen. Like they just bought a house. They, hey, can we get a kitchen done in about, you know, can we, can you start in two weeks? I'm like, do you have cabinets? And they're like, no, well, well, cabinets in my area are between nine and 12 weeks out. So you can't, we're not even going to have cabinets for that amount of time. So it doesn't even matter if we start, which I can't, we're, we're not, we're, we're booked pretty good. And you, they just need, you need to have good communication and you need to let the customers know because they don't know. They just, you know, they're not ignorant. They just, they're not in this field. We are. So you gotta let them know, hey, this is the this is what we're doing for labor, you know, labor shortages, material shortages, material delays, material costs as far as you know lumber pack, you know, lumber practicing and everything like that. So that's how I deal with it as far as you know, letting them know. I'll I'll email people for free. I'll talk to them on the phone for free. Shoot, I'll Skype or you know whatever uh, for free if they want to do that. But as far as me taking my gas, getting my truck, going to a job site, spending time with them, no. <laughs> this is not for free. So, and if you guys are wondering, grade scale for estimates between $250 is where it starts and it goes up, you know, from there up to 1% of the um, ball, my ballpark pricing. So, you know, now I did give a, an, a, a little bit of a discount in this one, the, the check you guys saw already, because there is pretty much a slam dunk, honestly. Um, they, if, if I had a contract with me, they would have signed it and then I would have collected an entire deposit because um, they, you know, they kind of already vetted me a little bit via, this is actually um, a lead from Facebook, um, my advertisements. So that's, that's how they found me. I, they just, they saw my advertisement, like, hey, they reached out to me and actually I got delayed because he reached out to me via Facebook Messenger on my business side and I didn't respond because I didn't get that message right away. It didn't give me an alert or anything. And then he's like, fine, you know, he gave me some like, I guess not, you don't want the job or something, you know, some kind of slime remark like that. And I was like, I just got his message. I was like, hey, uh, you know, like, uh, I just got your message. Yes, I'm interested. This is what we gotta do, let me know. And then my, the reason why uh, I was actually interested because he had site plans. He had architectural plans, which I'll throw a picture, um, already drawn up for the project, which I means that he and whoever that customer is serious about their project. They're not just price shopping, getting their 18th quote or whatever. They're serious about the project. They've already paid an architect to do this. So 
yes, that piqued my interest. Obviously, you got some skin in the game already. This is where we go from here. I'm gonna give you a ballpark of what this is gonna cost. If you want me on site to meet and meet everybody and all the parties involved and go over everything, that's my fee. So I told them it's gonna be a thousand bucks. That money, all my money, all all my deposits, right, estimates, they are either credited or refunded if they hire me to do the project. And the basically the the detailed estimate is doubles as my, as my scope of work for the project for the contract. So I have to do that anyway for the contract. So I'm basically starting the process and it's saving me work so I don't have to double dip. And that's how I justify, you know, giving them the money back on the actual back end of the project because I'm already going to charge them anyway for my plans and permit fee, which is usually, it's usually between five to 7% of the entire project as far as permits, me going, jumping through all the red tape, blah, blah, blah. Like, I mean, oh my goodness, so much stuff. So I charge, you know, I charge thousands of dollars for that on projects like this. So yeah, that's where I stand with that. <clears throat> you need to have great communication. Um, and that goes without, you know, right up front. Like I've got people, you know, reaching out to me for kitchen remodels and bathrooms. Hey, I'll give you a ballpark. Kitchen cabinets are going to be between 10 and a hundred thousand dollars, depending on how fancy you want to get, you know, and then we charge about a hundred dollars per door to mount cabinets. Just letting you know, that's my price. For, um, they might see, you know, I saw people tell me that's cheap and some people tell me that's expensive, but that's what I charge. Oh, and then, you know, we can kind of go from there and that gives them a ballpark price of what we need to do. Load bearing beams, you know, you're looking at whatever it is per linear foot or R&R, &R, which depending on the actual site conditions, obviously, you know, getting the load all the way down to the floor and the basement and everything. So you can talk to them about that and throw out prices. I had another customer reach out to me today. Actually, was it a couple days ago and returned an email and they're like, hey, we need one a 20 by 18 um, Trex, you know, timber tech, uh, deck, and it's going to be freestanding about 33 inches off the ground, you know, steps and everything, one set of steps. So I was like, all right. So that tells me, you know, 20 by 18, which is about 360 square foot ish, give or take. Plus you're going to need railing. It's, it's timber tech. So my, my price range around for that is, you know, average wise about $65 a square foot with materials included. Now that can go up a little bit and I can go down a little bit depending on site conditions, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, you're going to be, you know, what is 360 times $65? What is that? 23, 23,000 something, I, something like that. So that's my price for that. You know, depending on, you know, your material choices and everything. And obviously that's, that's where we're at. So before we even go any further, bringing up price, Hey, that's where we're at as far as price range. Let me know if we want to go any further than this, but if that's within your budget, you know, if it's a little higher, we can work with it. If you want to try, you know, something cheaper, you know, again, your railings depend and you can get some cheap railings or you can get some really expensive railings. So bring up money, bring up price, bring up all budget as soon as you can and just be transparent and great communication. Try to respond. I, if somebody reach out, reaches out to me through my website, through my, uh, you know, text, email, whatever, I, I respond as soon as I can. No, it's been out right away, but I'll answer that phone, respond as soon as you can and get that estimate out as soon as you can. Um, that estimate I'm going to get out probably the one that they just paid for. I'll get that out probably Tuesday, Wednesday, which today would be like a, well, I'm not doing anything during the weekend. So, uh, we're going to be, you know, over the weekend, I'm not doing, I'm not working on it, obviously. So, you know, it's going to be like a three business day turnaround. So, and then, you know, I can call my, I can call, you know, plumber, HVAC and everything I want to, but I already kind of know their pricing for th certain things. So, um, I already have that dialed in. So, and again, um, I, you know, I, I give myself some leeway. Um, in case something happens, obviously unknown conditions, like my contract always stays that, um, you know, un unknown conditions are the responsibility of the homeowner, all that kind of stuff. So you got to be upfront too. Uh, being upfront about everything. Like I said, bring up money, be upfront about everything. Hey, this is what we do. Hey, you're a little further out of my, my radius as far as where I want to work. So we're going to have to deal with this. Um, and I, you know, under promise and over deliver, especially with estimates. Hey, it's going to be between this and this. Here's your estimate. Yeah, it's going to be high. These are the ways you can knock it down. Only do not negotiate the price of your labor. Only negotiate the scope of work. So, hey, do you want that 280 linear foot, you know, six foot tall fence? Or can we do without that? Because if you want to bring down pricing, that's how we can do it. You know, so we you know you got pain and pleasure, all that kind of stuff. You got to know your numbers. Like I mentioned before, you got to know what you charge per square foot for decking. You got to know what you charge uh, for uh, finish living space like in my area it's no less it's no less than two hundred ten dollars a square foot for living finished living space let me know in the comment section below if I'm overpriced but I mean we got we we can go up to three hundred four hundred dollars a square foot for finished living space if they want to do some crazy you know marble and all that kind of stuff so 
I mean, we it, it goes up from there. But I mean, if you're looking at, you know, you want an addition on your house, you want roofing, you want everything tied in, electrical, HVAC. I mean, we are that's that's where we're at right now. So can it go down? Yes, but it's probably going to go up. So you've got to, as far as my last my last few points about this, you've got to not want to waste your time more than valuing that estimate. So I like if somebody reaches out to me for an estimate. I value my time. I want to do something that I'm already doing before that person ever reached out to me more than I want to do that estimate. So um, they're reaching out to me. Obviously, they're reaching out to me because they're inquiring about giving me money for something. So I'm going to be cordial. I'm going to be doing everything I need to as far as you know, maybe they are, you know, they are serious buyers. So let them know what we're about and put the ball in their court. That's why you want to respond to text messages and emails and phone calls right away because if they reach out to you, then the ball's in your court. So you need to make sure to put the ball back, you know, give them, make the ball back in their court. So text them back, email them, call them back, give them, you know, open ended questions, all that kind of stuff, just because you want to make sure that it's off your shoulders and me too. Once I get the estimate done and it's out of my way, I'll send it out to them. I'm done. They've, they've got to tell me no. They've got to tell me yes, all that kind of stuff. So. Yeah, that's uh, that's that's where I stand on paid estimates. Absolutely, 150 percent. Not going to turn back. I can always not charge for an estimate. So like yours, wait until the economy goes bad. I know we're already in a recession. We have been for months, but um, I can always lower my prices and I can always raise my. It's, that's that's a, that's a great thing. I don't have to charge for estimates, but we're in the market right now where um, not that I can't afford not to. Just I don't want to. I there's just so much out there. I want to make sure. I need to I need to you know take the cream of the crop as far as customers make sure they're you know the ones that are actually shopping for a contractor to do work not just shopping for a price to you know you know impress their wife and you know whatever it is you know you know insurance whatever they need the insurance requires four or five estimates hey can you just give me a quick estimate I just need to you know like I just need to you know get get to my insurance no I, I we, we don't do that kind of stuff so you know that's 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 it that's all I got for you guys. It's warm as crap out here. We're gonna get we're gonna get back uh, get this trailer parked and uh, we'll, we'll get out of here. But let me know in the comment section below, you guys. Am I am I out of line? Am I crazy? Uh, will you guys charge more than I do for estimates? Do you charge less? Granted, I don't do small work. This is not for like the five hundred dollar job. Nobody's gonna nobody should pay a thousand dollars for a five hundred dollar uh, job. But we're talking we're talking bigger work here. My average for this year for as far as job wise is like thirty two thousand dollars or something like that. I think something like that. So if we get this job, it's going to go probably it's going to jump because well, it's, it's way more than way more than that. So. All right, guys. See you in the next one.